Hello there and welcome in another part. Um, so without talking too much, let's, let's get back to work. Um, in the in previous um, video, we we left the model like this. We just create this model and make this leg a bit thicker. Uh, so this leg is different than the others. Um, what we're gonna do now? We're just gonna select those three and just delete them. Uh, we're gonna like think why this thing's happening but don't worry about it um, what we're gonna do now we're just gonna tweak few things a bit um, main things what we're gonna tweak is just select this this um, this leg go to show it isolate select view select and ju just delete this face and just go back to uh, object mode. Now just got the same show, isolate select, view selected. Um, the same thing we have to do here, but with this we're gonna do just a magic trick. We're just gonna go and insert ledge tool. I have my uh, my shortcut uh, kind of sh shortcut on the on the shelf, but normally it's um, in internet uh, ed edit mesh internet uh, insert edge edge loop tool to add to the shelf you have to just press and hold shift and control together and left click and then it's here added to delete it just um, middle mouse button hold and put in the middle over here yeah uh, when this one is done we're gonna see one edge here and we're gonna do the same uh, show, isolate, select and now just go select those and just delete this part, we just don't need it now we can go back from uh, isolate, select select this one and just put it back and hide it in the mesh and the same thing we're gonna do with this and just leave this face on the top and uh, we're doing this to optimize the mesh and uh, normally we're not gonna see if there is uh, uh, there was um, there is this face missing um, next thing what we can do is go and uh, delete those faces Um, go show, isolate, select as well and just go through and delete those faces those yeah go back uh, we did it those because mainly if you notice over here it just covered and we're not gonna use it okay uh, with this done um, we're just gonna uh, go to window rendering and hypershade um, we can choose any of the materials but it's the best I think to use it's a um, surface shader just double click on this icon and you're gonna see out color and just see this checkerboard over here just click this checkerboard and go to checker and to apply texture uh, to, uh, to apply material uh, you can do many ways uh, basically Mid, uh, middle mouse back button just press and hold and just drag and drop on on any surface you want and you will see this checker what we pick up this checker over here this this is basically our texture applied to our material but the best way like the 
the, the most convenient for me is just select everything, right click, and assign, assign this material, surface shader. As we can see, some of the parts uh, of our model are looking kind of good because uh, we can see the checkerboard, but we, uh, for example, we see the lag and it's just looking horrible. Just nobody really going to like it. But don't worry about that. Uh, now we're just gonna go work with UVs. Um, wh what is UV? Um, basically, if you are gonna go to Edit UVs and UV Texture Editor, we're gonna notice there are just simple planes, uh, which uh, we like. We can, we're gonna do the thing. Uh, right click on on the UV Texture Editor. Right click, hold, and go to UVs. Select one corner where it's supposed to be a vert vertices. Uh, and gonna be con uh, press Control and hold. Click, right click, and go to Share. And if you're gonna see, this one gonna be which one? If you're gonna see, if you're gonna move this one, our uh, texture is changing. So basically, it's like. Um, unfold mesh like in 2d like 3d mesh unfold in 2d that's basically what uv is and what it does is just selecting the uv space from zero to one to a to a texture just giving a texture information um, to make it look better we have to like fix those uvs and to do that uh, we're gonna go to create UVs, automatic mapping. Uh, let, let's reset, reset settings and let's click apply. What it does, it just creates for us a um, few material like a uh, projection. Uh, with this projection, uh, we can now start to work with our UVs. Um, to do that, we're gonna go, go to our UV texture editor, right click, go to edge, and go, let's select for example this edge. Now what we see, this edge corresponds to this edge, and basically it's just over here. Uh, so, um, before to anything, just uh, right click, UV, select one, Press Ctrl, Hold, right click, Hold, to shell. Then W, and we can, what we can see, we can move now. And do, let's do the same with this. UV, to shell, and just move it over. Now, Edge. And now what we're gonna do, we just, we're gonna go to Polygon. Move and so what what we did now what we can see when we gonna select our UVs when we're moving this edge stays the same and that's what what's really really good about it uh, because if we're gonna look at for example here our texture not gonna have seams. Okay, with this done, uh, uh, anyway, we're gonna have seams somewhere, but we have to hide it. But I prefer to have seams in this edge. So, if, if we're gonna see that, for example, we're gonna pick up this edge. Just press F. And this is corresponds here, and we don't really need that. And if we're gonna pick up this one, it's gonna correspond here. So this this edge gonna correspond to this edge. So we basically gonna try to sew. See this one. Just press UV. Go to show. Move it over. Select 
select this edge and see this button is doing the same which this button move and so the edges and again beautiful we see nice texture so with this just select another one like try to do it now without moving and it's gonna move automatically and with this one and later on with this one now we can see we're gonna have seams just on the bottom but the bottom not gonna be so visible now uh, select all your V's um, hold shift right click and click on the box over here reset settings and click apply that's what basically it's gonna do it's gonna unfold your UVs and I do the best to to make the best the cleanest possible and as we can see like here we have seams but this one we cannot really do much of, about it but in the rest it's looking nice the main important thing is gonna be top where it's gonna be the most visible with this done we're gonna hold shift right click and layer the beam and with this we have perfect projection and really good um, UV for the, for this piece.